Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of CSIR NET December 2023 Mathematical Sciences. This is a problem of Real Analysis Part C. The question ID is 70406. Uh, sorry, this should be 704065. Seven zero four zero six five. So now let us try to solve this question. Look at the question first. Let Fn n greater than equal to one be the sequence of functions defined on closed interval zero one by Fn x equal to this x to the power n log one plus root x by two. Which of the following statements are true? So, first option says that Fn, this sequence of function, converts pointwise on 0, 1. Uh, then, option 2 says that uh, Fn converts uniformly on compact subsets of uh, closed 0, open 1, but not on closed 0, open 1. Option 3 says that Fn converts uniformly on closed 0 open 1 but not on closed 0 1 option 4 says that fn converts uniformly on uh, closed 0 1 so first uh, see uh, what is the uh, function fx where this fn converts pointwise so if we write the that function by fx then this fx is our limit n tends to infinity fn x equal to limit n tends to infinity x to the power n log 1 plus root x by 2. So now if x equal to x is uh, from 0 less than equal to x less than 1 then clearly this x to the power n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity there, that is the standard result in sequence so it is 0 and also if x equal to 1 then x to the power n is 1 and this log 1 plus root x by 2 is log 1 plus 1 by 2 that is log 2 by 2 that is log 1 that is also 0 so in for all x belongs to 0 1 close interval 0 1 fx is 0. So, if x is a constant function, 0. If x equal to 0, x belongs to 0, 1. This is the function fx where this fn converts pointwise. So, fn converts pointwise. This is the correct option. So, option 1 is the correct option. Now, first look at option 4. So, to find that fn converts uh, f uniformly or not, we have to calculate this mn. This mn is actually soup x belongs to that domain 0, 1 of closed interval and this is mod fnx minus fx. <coughs> so this is soup x belongs to 0, 1 fx is 0 so this is mod fnx. <coughs> now see this fnx is continuous and and this closed 0 1 is a compact set so we must have this fnx sup uh, this fnx attains supremum so there must exist some x0 say belongs to closed interval 0 1 <coughs> such that <coughs> this mn sorry as fn is continuous we have mod fnx is continuous so sup uh, supremum attains so mn equal to this sup <coughs> x belongs to 0 1 mod fnx equal to mod fn at that x 0 and this fn at x0 is what? This is our 
x0 whole to the power n into log 1 plus root x0 by 2. Now see, clearly at clearly at x0 uh, sorry clearly at clearly at uh, if x0 equal to 1 then this mn is equal to then this mn is equal to mn is equal to uh, 1 into log 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 0. 0. Zero. And also and also there is a point uh, other than 1 say if we take uh, say half x equal to half then this this fn at half this fn at half mod this is actually 1 by 2 to the power n log 1 plus uh, half so it is 1 by root 2 by 2 so it, it is something other than 0 so it is greater than 0 that is fn 1 so we must have uh, this fn half greater than fn 1 so this implies that this x0 cannot be 1 so this is different from 1 because there is a value lies between 0 and 1 uh, for example half where fn is uh, greater than where mod fn is greater than this fn1 mod fn1 so now we have this mn we have this mn equal to this fn x0 mod and which is our x0 to the power n log 1 plus root x0 by 2 and now this limit n tends to infinity mn equal to since this x0 is less than 1 we have this is 0 x0, x0 to the power n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity so this is 0 so now we get this limit mn equal to 0 and this is the if and only if result for a sequence of function fn converts uniformly to f. We know that fn converts uniformly to f if and only if this limit mn equal to 0. So now, so this option 4 is the correct option. Now look at option 2 and option 3. Uh, option 2 says that fn converts uniformly on compact subsets of uh, close 0 open 1 but not on close 0 open 1 but as fn converts uniformly on close 0 1 so fn converts uniformly on every subset of close 0 1 so uh, on this subset close 0 open 1 fn converts uniformly so option 2 is not the correct option and now look at option 3 fn converts uniformly on uh, close 0 open 1 but not on close 0 1 but just now we proved that fn converts uniformly on close 0 1 so option 3 is not the correct option so option 1 and 4 are the correct options and 2 option 2 and 3 are not the correct options this is the solution of this problem thanks for watching